गाइस माय नेम इज अजिंक्य हर्षे एंड आई एम द चीफ मेंटर ऑफ ए आर एच डिजाइन अकेडमी इन कोथरूड पुणे इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट जे डब्ल्यू ई पेपर टू वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट द पैटर्न वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट द सिलेबस वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट द शेड्यूल फॉर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन एंड वी विल ऑल्सो टॉक अबाउट हाउ टू गेट गुड मार्क्स इन जे डब्ल्यू ई पेपर टू दिस इज गोइंग टू बी द फर्स्ट वीडियो ऑफ द सीरीज दैट वी हैव प्लान फॉर द एग्जाम फॉर जे डब्ल्यू ई पेपर टू so let's get right into the video okay so what is jwe paper 2 jwe paper 2 or joint entrance exam paper 2 is an exam conducted by national testing agency or nta earlier this exam was called as ai triple e paper 2 and it was conducted by cbsc uh, till a few years back now as i said it is conducted by nta or national testing agency now what is the difference between jwe paper 1 and jwe paper 2 there might be a confusion regarding these two exams especially if you are new to this or if you are not coming from an architectural aspirational background so let me just clear that out for you jwe paper 1 or joint entrance exam paper 1 is an exam again conducted by nta itself but the score of this exam is used for admission in national level institutes nits and a lot of local level colleges or state level colleges also use the score but for admission in engineering right so jwe paper 1 is for engineering talking about jwe paper 2 the score of this particular exam is used for admission in nits national institute of technologies spa school of planning and architecture which is in delhi bhopal and vijayawada and other centrally funded technical institutes for br scores which is a five year course Uh, a lot of state level colleges also use the score of jwe paper 2 to fill up the uh, national level seats in which are there in every college but in this one we are going to talk about jwe paper 2 we are not going to go into the admission and other details of that so what is again the difference what is the second difference between jwe paper 1 and jwe paper 2 the pattern and syllabus are different the jwe paper 1 uses physics chemistry and mathematics JWE paper 2 on the other hand retains the same mathematics but it also has architecture aptitude of 200 marks and drawing for 100 marks about which we are going to talk uh, later in this video also there is a interesting fact that i would like to you to know JWE paper 1 is taken by around 10 to 11 lakh students per year but JWE paper 2 is taken by only around 1 1 and a half lakh students every year again the number shift every year but that is a general standard that we have so once uh, we get to know what is the difference between jwe paper 1 and jwe paper 2 uh, let's see what is the pattern of these exams all right let's get the facts straight about the pattern of jwe paper 2 it's a 400 marks exam it is broadly divided into three categories or three sections and the exam is offline online mode the three section that i talked about the first section is drawing the second section is architecture aptitude and the third third section is mathematics let's talk about drawing first now drawing is the offline part of this exam which means that you will be given two questions of 50 marks each and you have to solve them and submit the paper it's a 100 marks which makes it 1/4 of the total marks of jwe paper 2 in drawing part there is no negative marking so i would suggest to amp up your drawing preparation nicely the second part is architecture aptitude part and according to me is the most important chunk of this exam because it is of 200 marks out of 400 which makes it 50% of the total marks that you have in jwe paper 2 there are going to be 50 mcqs if you choose the right answer you have plus 4 if you choose the wrong answer you have minus 1 if you don't select any option there is not going to be any change in your marks the third section is mathematics section which is a total of 100 marks which is again sub categorized into two sections first is the mcq section you have 20 mcqs plus 4 minus 1 pattern and uh, if you don't attempt the question there is no change in the marks the second sep- section which has been introduced Uh, last year is the nat section or numerical answer type questions you will be given a question the answer to which is going to be a numerical value and you have to input that value using a keyboard that will be on your screens when you attempt this sections 
Another important fact about the NAT section of the mathematics part mm -hmm. is that there is not going to be any negative marking in this particular section. So uh, please try to attempt all the questions because even if you choose the wrong answer, there is not going to be any negative marking for these five questions. So again, let me summarize this. Drawing 100 marks, architecture aptitude 200 marks and mathematics also 100 marks. So this is what makes the JWE paper 2. Now let's get into the syllabus. Alright, now that we have seen pattern of the exam, let's talk about the syllabus of the exam. Alright, so you visit jwmain.nta.nic.in On the left side you find the syllabus tab. Click on that, scroll down through the PDF, find the syllabus for JWE main paper 2A which is the BR paper. First thing you are going to see is the syllabus for the mathematics part which is given in a really good detail as you can see on your screens. But please make sure that you are going through the PDF by your own. I will give the link to the PDF in the description box. If you scroll down a little bit more, you are going to find the syllabus for the aptitude part. Now, aptitude part is of 200 marks and only two paragraphs are given. So in the next video, we are going to see in detail what type of questions are supposed to come and how we can tackle them. If you scroll down a little bit more, you are going to find the syllabus for the drawing part as well. Now, the syllabus for the drawing part is on also only one paragraph. So we are also going to see what type of questions are expected in the drawing part in the next video. So that was the syllabus for mathematics, aptitude and the drawing part. Alright, so now that we have seen the syllabus and the pattern of the exam, let's look at the schedule of the exam, which is the biggest change in 2021. As you can see on your screens right now, JWE Main 2021 January session is going to happen in four phases. That is in the month of February, March, April and May, which means that you can give the exam four times. Either you can give all the four attempts or you can give any two or three attempts or even any one attempt as you like. Most of the students are giving in the month of February and May. Another important thing to know is the percentile that will be used for your admission will be the best of all the attempts we have given. So that's schedule of this exam. So now that we have seen the pattern, syllabus and the schedule, let's talk about the last important bit of the video which is why JWE February attempt is important. Most of you who are giving these exams are in the 12th standard and your exams are generally scheduled in the month of April and May. So you'll be busy there. You'll also be busy in the month of March for the preparation, which means that February is the only attempt where you can still take out some time to focus fully on this attempt. Once you are done with your February attempt, focus your attention back to your boards so that you can get good marks in JWA paper 2 and your board exams as well. Alright, so that's it for this video guys. Uh, I hope you like it and understood everything in detail. In the next video, we will be talking about the syllabus of aptitude and drawing part. We'll basically decode the syllabus and see what type of questions come and how we can prepare for that. We'll also have a look at the time management strategy for aptitude and drawing. So thank you for watching this video. I'll see you in the next video. Expect more experience magic.